reading from the third chapter of Ecclesiastes. For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born, and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to throw away, a time to tear, and a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time for war, and a time for peace. another 
overview of farm living. While conditions of snow and ice, most recently for sure, <laughs> may limit our time outdoors, there's still plenty to do. Fruit trees need pruning, farm tools and machinery need maintenance, and the animals' needs change as they may not find forage on their own and require <coughs> more of our labor to be fed and put to bed. Our spiritual life is not unlike farm life. Change is always occurring. Our growth as Christians may follow the church cycle with high points of Easter and Christmas. But often the change is slow, like the budding of trees into leaves that crown the tree, or just as easily wither when not nourished. Or it may happen suddenly. The death of a loved one reminds us of our own mortality and our focus sharpens on living in a more Christ-like manner and in a manner closer to our true heart's desire. For us, our relationship with God is like that of a farmer providing all he can for a successful harvest. The farmer provides food and water. God provides the scriptures and spirit. When plants need support, the farmer sets up poles to bear the weight. Our Father does the same by sending Christ who bears our weight when we feel we can no longer go on. Each moment of change can become a moment of growth, of reflection, or of action. And God's children said, Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. in the darkness. And the darkness has not overcome it. Jesus, the chosen one of God most high. 
great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and light, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, 